as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you well in this video which is number three we're going to uh, put in some mud flaps as you'll see and uh, do some stud work on this trailer uh, you can find links to this build at the end of this video in case you missed one and two and you want to follow the rest of them here we go well in this video one of the things I'm going to do is I got to cover this area here to keep moisture from going inside the trailer so I've got to build me a mud flap more or less it'll go right there you can see on that side over there what I got to fill in what I'm going to use is this piece of tin that I had laying out back it's galvanized so it'll be great for that I know it's got to be over four inches and that's a four inch piece that I cut off of there so let's get to work on that once again we're going to use this little uh, tool here peanut grinder cut that up with a cutting blade after tracing out the fender radius I took my jigsaw and cut this piece out and it uh, fit in there pretty good with a little more trimming it'll be great as on everything in on this thing every little piece has got to be cut now all we got to do is make this fit in here like so and then I'm going to rivet this together screw this here together and we got a mud flap built for one side little crooked yet but that's what I said when we got to do a little bit of adjustment got to do adjustments on all this stuff here there you go that'll keep the mud out of here okay real quickly here we got this ready to assemble now I'm going to take this uh, silicone here I'm going to place that right underneath there then I'm going to place it up on top of this a little bead and then I'm going to go across here then I'm going to rivet it to here and screw the sheet of uh, tin to the board here okay I wanted to show you this I want you to remember this for later you'll see where I'm going to use it okay I've measured from that end down to the center of this board I just put a line there and it's 72 and 7 eighths that's straight above my axle there remember that for later well both sides are done now that'll keep the mud and water and everything out because it's all sealed and everything uh, apparently the paint didn't dry too much all overnight so I got fingerprints all over it but all this is going to be painted anyway it will this will just help keep the rust out I also changed the way I did this I went ahead and left the tabs on brought it over and screwed it on here as you can see over there I did not and uh, this is going to be much better so anyway uh, that's done on to the next picked up some more bed frames this one I like because it's channel iron not angle iron got a place for it you'll see that pretty soon well really you'll see that at the end of the video almost it's going to go on the tail end now let's just take it apart and clean it up well as you can see I got the metal all cleaned up and shoved into my scrap pile here just waiting to get back onto the trailer but as you can see the trailer is moved out of the shop and is 
waiting for more work to be done on it. I was going to come back and do the work on this when I came back from Yuma. But I came back from Yuma with a sciatic nerve pinched. So this is where it sits until we can get that fixed up. You may want to know why do I have so many trailers? Why am I building this one to be enclosed? Well, because this motorcycle right here is going to fit into that trailer when it's enclosed and it's going to go into storage. Not really into a storage building, but it'll be stored on a person's farm that uh, so I can get to the trailer anytime I want, take the bike out and go for rides. But I need a place to put it because I'm moving and all, everything I have has to go into trailers like this one. This one I purchased oh a couple months ago now and this one's gonna hold all my tools. All the tools in that garage should fit right in there. This little trailer back here is not mine. It's my stepson's and he will be having to find a place to put it. But this one, that's where my tools go. The big one I bought and brought back from Yuma will be holding all of our furniture. Everything will be in trailers, on a farm, and we will be living in our RV. That's what that's all about. Once we find the perfect place to live, we just drag our trailers to wherever that is, unload them, sell the ones we don't want, and keep the ones we will be using for hauling motorcycles. So that's what this is all about. I'm going to get back onto that trailer over there as soon as I can get fixed up. Stay tuned. It will get done. Subscribing is simple. Click on your subscribe button. Click on the bell to get notifications. When it's lit up like this with the little things on top, you'll get all my notifications every time I put something on here.